Hello, I'm Susanne Siebentritt and I've been a researcher in Luxembourg since 2007. We work on the next generation of solar cells that are more efficient and state-of-the-art and produce even less carbon. And one of the goals of our research is to understand the physical limitations of these solar cells and of course improve them. Tandem solar cells are generally part of the next generation of solar cell technologies. Tandem solar cells are a version of solar cells where you put two solar cells on top of each other and make better use of the solar spectrum. And we are working on a type of these tandem solar cells that, is, that has proven stability in the field already. All electronic devices need defects to be functional. And we recently summarized almost 20 years of research to come up with almost complete picture of the electronic defects in chalcopyrites, which is the material for solar cells that we work on. More on the technological side, we recently developed a back contact that solves a major issue in these solar cells and will enable a new generation of these solar cells. And I'm very proud that we made the first transparent, efficient, white gap chalcopyrite solar cells that we will now use in tandem solar. The solar cell technology is clearly moving towards tandem solar cells. And there are currently two options. One is perovskites combined with silicon and one is chalcopyrites combined with silicon. The perovskites have very good efficiency, but they have issues with the stability. The chalcopyrites have proven stability. They have been used for decades in the field, but they're not there in the efficiency. So the race is open, I think, and I decided to work on the chain stable chalcopyrite. My dream is to make a tandem solar cell where both solar cells are made from chalcopyrite. We first tried this in 2002. And the dream is to have a solar cell that's better than the two individual solar cells compared to the record solar cells. And that would be a solar cell that's better in efficiency and lower in carbon emission than anything we have today.